With easing COVID-19 restrictions, the City of Toronto's Archives building behind me opening up to the public for the first time in months. Its first exhibit, paying tribute to the TTC's 100 years of service. For Kevin Brown, a second generation TTC veteran employee, he and his family have seen a lot of change. The biggest, how advanced subway trains are now. My family members wouldn't recognize uh, today's vehicles to what they used to drive, back to wooden streetcars, back to uh, coal stoves, back in the uh, 1930s and 40s to uh, what we have today. A subway instructor for 30 years, his dad held a similar role and was involved on the front line when the young, Bloor Danforth and Spadina subway lines opened. The TTC came into operation in 1921 and amalgamated nine separate transit services. At the City of Toronto Archives on Spadina Road, a love letter of sorts to the transit agency by remembering those early days of multiple streetcar operators. It was confusing and they had to transfer and every time they transferred they had to pay another fare. And people were kind of dissatisfied with that. Supervisor Michelle Dale, one of those who helped put together an exhibit looking back at the past hundred years. After an extended closure due to the pandemic, she says this tribute is fitting for the city. There's hardly anyone whose life is not touched by the TTC. And I think it's important for us to remember just how far we've come. The, uh, the photographs in this exhibit show uh, how much progress has been made and how much hard work over the years has gone in to building the system that we have today. If you're visiting, also an opportunity to look at history that can be more personal to you. Uh, people can research their house, uh, people can look up council minutes, assessment rolls, uh, there's many many private records that are held here that relate to uh, businesses and organizations in the city. Meanwhile, back at the TTC, Brown reflects on the pandemic while also looking ahead, sharing a message to those hoping to join the agency and keep Torontonians moving for decades to come. During the pandemic, uh, we kept uh, the, the, the city moving. We were truly part of the fabric of the city, keeping the healthcare workers uh, going to work, keeping the emergency crews uh, continuing to go to work. The ships are hard. Um, you're, it's going to be a different world or a different life for you at the very beginning, but stick with it. It truly is uh, rewarding. You're going to uh, have a wonderful career and you're going to be part of a, a huge city. For more on this story, go to citynews.ca. In Toronto for City News, I'm Nick Westall.